Welcome back to our beginner Node.js course. I'm your instructor Mohammed, and in section 2 we will actually be getting started to develop applications in Node.js. So section 2 will teach the fundamentals of Node.js and in this section, section 2.1, we will create our first express server and we will send data to the browser. So we'll create a server and then we'll run the server to send data to the browser. So if we do an ls, continuing from where we left off, we should see, of course, the package.json, app.js, and the node modules. If you skip section one, all we did was we created a directory called sample project. We ran the command npm init to initialize our package.json. And then we ran the command npm install express space dash dash save and that installed express for us and our node modules are where all the code that other people have created for us is located so in sublime text i have our app.js right here so the first thing i want to do is to sort of import express onto this page onto our sublime text app.js I'm going to do a const express equals require express. And you may notice const. I didn't explain that in the JavaScript basic syntax. What const is, is an unchanging variable. It's new with ES6. So it's, it's a variable that is a constant that will never change. So for everything I require, I'm going to do const. You may if you watch, uh, if you look up the documentation, you may see var, you may see let for things that don't change, such as keys or modules that you require. We're going to use const. So I'm going to require express, and then so the way that express works is it's a function. So I'm going to make a const app variable that will call express the function. So when we use it, now with the variable app, we can actually use the methods that are contained within the express function. So the first one I want to do, app.get in quotations forward slash. And what this essentially means is that we're, when we request the URL slash, so imagine this is the root of your app, of your website. For example, when you go to google.com slash without anything after that, that is the root of google.com. We're going to be using something called localhost because this is not going to be actually on a website just yet. It's going to be our, on our local server. So it's going to be something like localhost 3000 slash. So this is app.get forward slash function request. The request object and the response object, which we'll talk about later, we're not actually going to use them that much in this video, except for a small detail. Response dot, I believe it's response. Let's just go to npm express just to double check the syntax and res dot send. So response dot send. They use res, you can use response to it. As long as you have request first and then response afterwards. So we're going to send some data to our browser. So of course we're going to send an h1 tag. Style equals. And this has to be in quotation marks because remember we are using JavaScript. So we're going to pass this out as a string. Welcome to my app. Hey friends, welcome to my app. What this is essentially saying is that in the browser, when we go to forward slash, we should see an h1 tag that is centered that says, hey friends, welcome to my app. The next method we will use is app.listen. App and we're going to use a port number. And we commonly use 3000. Typically, you might see 3000 pretty commonly. You might also see 8080. Just generally anything from 3,000 to, I believe it's 9,000 you can use, but 
Just for standards, we usually use 3000 when dealing with Node.js. So app.listen function. So we're going to have an error. So if error, so if the error equals true, if we do have an error, console.log, some error occurred. Else, console log listening on localhost 3000. So if else statement, just like we talked about in our JavaScript basic syntax. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And in our terminal, I'm going to run node app.js. And it looks like everything went well because it says listening on localhost 3000. So let's go to localhost 3000 and see what happens there. And we see, hey friends, welcome to my app, which is exactly what we wanted to see.